this is your warning. I'm gonna go ahead and start it off with a warning that uh, you might find this video offensive, but it may not be for you. So this is considered your trigger warning. Now in North Carolina, I have a lot of people moving here that are looking to get away from some of the blue states. Whether you are or aren't, uh, that just seems to be the clientele that I've talked to. Now there's been a couple new changes to North Carolina gun laws. I'll get into that in a minute, but what I wanted to share with you first is how long it took me to walk into a gun store in North Carolina and walk out with a firearm and bullets. So I actually screenshotted my phone as I was pulling into the parking lot of the gun store because I thought this would make an interesting video for all of you out there. Um, so I screenshotted the, my phone when I got to, to the gun store. Uh, and when I got back in my car, I screenshot it again. It took me 15 minutes to walk in and walk out. Now, that could definitely trigger some people, but in North Carolina, now that we have our concealed carry and all that good stuff, this is what allowed me to do that. So I had called ahead. I knew that they had the particular firearm that I was looking for. Uh, I called several actually looking for this one. I already did my research and figured out this is what I wanted. And uh, I do go in some uh, shady homes sometimes, or, or some, that, some that you would like to have a friend with or somebody to back you up. And I can't always have someone there just to back me up. Because uh, I could go into an empty house that's just sitting unlocked. Uh, as a matter of fact, I got one right now that's been sitting for a year unlocked. 3,000 square foot, all the furniture and everything else. And you walk in there and it's just... Hello? So sometimes it's nice to have that extra assurance on your side uh, in case you ever was to come across the wrong person or thing or animal or anything else. Because <clears throat> I've ran into some animals before too. Now, after I had called ahead, that's when I drove there and uh, they were actually gonna close, but I had my concealed carry permit. This means I already went through the class to legally conceal a firearm. They also did a background check. So this is why it was I was able to walk in and walk out so quickly. I had already been federally background checked and the gun store was not empty by any means. They were actually pretty busy. So I walked in, they were actually helping somebody else. Um, she was very nice, said, can I help you? Yep, I want that one right there. So she poured it out, here you go, handed me the forms. Uh, I did have to read over the forms because they had changed a couple of little things on it. Filled out those forms, paid out the cash. I told them I was looking for some ammo that was just cheap because I didn't know if I really liked the gun or not yet. Uh, so I got two boxes of the cheapest ammo they had and walked out and when I got back in the car, screenshotted my phone and here we are. Comment down below what you think about the gun laws in North Carolina. I'm interested to see, this should, uh, should bring some interesting comments and I should probably not comment back, <laughs> but I'll try to. Now also in North Carolina, they just changed where you no longer have to have a permit to buy a pistol. Now that means, <laughs> I think a lot of people felt that that meant that we were all going to go to the Wild West and everybody was going to be carrying as you walk through the stores and down the street. And as a matter of fact, I've heard that some people have walked into the gun stores expecting to just walk in, walk out, no permit, no nothing, like they're going there to buy groceries. But that's simply not true. So just because you have uh, no longer have to have a pistol permit through your county, you still have to have a federal background check. I did hear an interesting perspective on this recently. Um, one of the local sheriff uh, said that he didn't really agree with getting rid of pistol permits. And he had a good point. Uh, the point was that with you having to go through county checks and federal checks, uh, it's kind of a double insurance for some crimes that are not federal crimes. I mean, there's a lot of people that are, are not good people and they commit crimes, but they're not federal crimes. You had a guy that say, beat his wife. Uh, <laughs> you know, he might have a record on that on file and the, and the sheriff in that county could actually stop the permits from going through. Now they were only $5. I know most of the people I knew that would go and they'd get two or three or four permits at a time just so they didn't have to go back. Uh, comment down below again, uh, what is bringing you to North Carolina 
and how you feel about gun laws in the state where you live now. Thanks for watching this short little video, and I'd love to hear from you if you're thinking of moving to North Carolina, help you find your dream home. Thanks.